Hey everybody, Mike B back with another episode of the Vietnam War. Um, today we're going to be kind of going over a question that was brought forth by a viewer from Ireland. And he was, t I was telling him about um, accidents in Vietnam and combat deaths versus non-combat related deaths. And uh, pretty much accidents in every conflict. Um, they are accounted for. And statistics actually break it down into other various kind of uh, categories and stuff of overall deaths. So it's kind of a morbid topic, but I know everybody's fascinated with it. So I'll just, I'm going to hopefully keep this pretty brief. We're going to go over, this is from archives.gov. So it is the official conflict extract file record um, for, as of April 29th, 2008. So um, total... Obviously, you probably know the number is 58,220. Just making sure it was this was accurate to what I know. All right, 220. 58,220 deaths in Vietnam. That's counting, I think, from 64 to... Um, I don't know. I, I'm 64 to 75, maybe, or maybe it's 60 to 75. Who knows? Let me, let me, let me see if they have anything really here. Yeah, it doesn't say what years, but... Um, it does have the numbers, which are concurrent with other things that I've seen. Just figured I'd use a reputable source. Even though it's a .gov, it's pretty reputable. This isn't like a vital thing, detrimental to the, the um, function of the country, so it's probably accurate. <clears throat> Alright, sorry about that. Anyway, um, so 58,220. Now, what's interesting is the total... We'll just, we'll just start it out this way. So, killed in action, right? That means... You're in a firefight, you get hit with artillery, you were stabbed to death, et cetera, et cetera, like fighting combat deaths. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to put it. Killed in action, the number is 40,934. Pretty substantial number of that 58,220. But it's still about 18,000 short. So you're saying, huh, killed in action, 40,000 or 41,000 we'll say. Ooh, what's the other 17, 18,000? Okay. Accident. That's what it says. It doesn't go into detail what kind of accident. An example that I know of that I was talking with um, the viewer from Ireland about was that uh, my second cousin, I guess it would be, second cousin, who was my dad's cousin. Yeah, and he's a lot older than me, obviously. Um, he was in Vietnam. He was a warrant officer's, chief warrant officer second class, or chief warrant officer two. God, I'm, I'm, I am so confused right now. I was thinking about, like, warrant officer in the British ranks or some weird private first class thing. Anyway, that's how I got to that. I misspoke, my bad. You can rag on me in the comments, you know. Take any, anything away from this video except, uh, you know, the information that I'm telling you. But, all right, back on track here. <laughs> all right, um, so accident would be, uh, my, so my cousin was a uh, chief warrant officer, and he was a uh, UH-1 Huey pilot, right? He was in the Army. And in 1971... He was out flying for something. I think they, I don't even know if they were out doing a combat mission. I think they were just transporting something. And uh, their helicopter lost power in the air and everybody on board died because it crashed. It was pretty high up. And that would be something that would be considered an accident. Um, somebody gets run over by a truck. Um, somebody's messing around with a grenade. It goes off. That would be an accident. Uh, so, you know, that's the kind of things that I'm thinking would, would be considered an accident as far as these statistics. And that'd be the second highest um, kind of number behind the, the uh, killed in action number, which is astonishing. Um, today, even in Iraq and Afghanistan, a decent percentage of the, the total deaths over there and casualties in general were from accidents. Um, it's not the majority, but it's a decent number, a decent percentage. So you wouldn't really think about that when you're thinking about especially something as like horrific as Vietnam or whatever. Um, oddly enough, the killed in action percentage is pretty concurrent with World War II as far as like, World War II obviously had bigger numbers, but the percentage of people who were killed is very concurrent with Vietnam. So that's very interesting. Um, so to kind of go off of killed in action, we're going to go with declared dead and died of wounds. So declared dead is 1,201, died of wounds is 5,299. So that can be, declared dead would be people who, I, I don't know exactly what that would be, to, to be honest with you, declared dead. Um, oh, so maybe they didn't recover the body. Maybe they, you know, you're out on a patrol or something and somebody gets hit with a, with a, with a minor grenade. Um, the enemy advances past where their body is and you can't recover the body, but people saw that that person was dead, toast. 
that's probably what that means um, because that number is pretty small, so it probably didn't happen that often because people try to recover their body. Um, that's the way the U.S. military kind of works is you try to recover it even it's done, but you try to get that back. So died of wounds, that would probably be like, um, I would say like when they get back into the United States or even to like, you know, if they were in Japan or something or some place where they had a hospital that they were out of the combat zone and they made it for a while and then they just succumb to their wounds. Like say you get hit in the neck or the head and you just, you recover for a little bit, you're still alive. And then all of a sudden your body goes, nope, can't deal with this. Bam. So that's, that's actually the third highest number would be died of wounds. So technically, I guess killed in action means you had to have been killed in action, just like it says. And the died of wounds would technically be a combat death, um, combat related death. But that's why I think they separated that out. A homicide, 236. Hear about fragging officers. And uh, there were some uh, racial things in the late 1960s and early 70s that um, I'll make a video on. Some, some things went down that were <clears throat> pretty pretty uh, bad, some, some racial stuff, and some people were killed because of it. Um, so, yeah, but yeah, 236 homicides in the conflict. That's interesting. Illness, 938. Malaria, whatever else you got, you know, venereal diseases that can, that can really screw you up. You get syphilis or something and don't treat it. Okay, so this is where the numbers get kind of small. Uh, presumed dead, body remains recovered, 32. So that would, I, I guess maybe presumed dead would be like, oh, we think he might've died or he's missing um, and we haven't heard from him. There's no record of him being held as a prisoner or whatever. So we'll presume that they're dead, but then they end up recovering the body later. So that's, I guess it's its own statistic because it's a different situation, but that would still technically be a combat death. But that number is very small, 32. Presumed dead, again, I'm, I'm thinking like an MIA situation that, you know, this is what this would be. Body remains not recovered. Um, so I guess presumed might be a lesser degree of like declaring somebody dead. Um, I know it might sound obvious, but I'm, I'm trying to, you know, explain this the best way I can as far as the, the reports. Um, so body re remains not recovered. So MIA pretty much 91. Um, that's a shitty number. One is a shitty number for that. It's like, I don't know, the family's never got closure and 91 families don't know if their loved one deserted and became like a mountain man, was tortured for years, was just disintegrated, nothing left. Uh, there's no closure really, and that, that really sucks. So that's kind of a tough one. Now, all things considered, it's a small number percentage-wise, but that's, pretty, that's a pretty shitty situation. Now, here's the last uh, reported deaths in uh, the Vietnam War. The last kind or the category is self-inflicted with 382. I thought that was a nine. 382 self-inflicted deaths. That's um, suicides for those of you that don't know what self-inflicted uh, means. So people that committed suicide. Now, I, I think the burden of proof would have to lie on, you know, the situation and all that stuff. Because, I mean, I'm sure suicides happen. They happen in Iraq, Afghanistan, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, all that stuff. Suicides happen. Suicides happen here every day, too. Um, it's very interesting that... Uh, Another video we'll talk about the post-Vietnam War, like suicide rate versus a misconception that it was, you know, insanely high. That that'll be interesting. But in country, or in theater, self-inflicted 382 suicides. So there's the numbers for the casualties, right? Or I'm sorry, the deaths. The casualties are much higher. I'll do that again in yet another video. This series is just never going to end. I don't have enough time to <laughs> talk about all this. I'm just trying to tell you guys the numbers that I'm reading off of reputable sources. Um, you can go look at this stuff too, if you don't believe me and then just kind of get some discussion going. So yeah, it's very interesting that, you know, of the 58,220 people that were, you know, killed in Vietnam or lost their lives, a decent chunk were actually accidents or not combat deaths. So I found that to be interesting, not a good interesting, but like, oh, okay. Wow. That's a, uh, that's a lot of people. So, I mean, and here's the way I look at accidents, right? This is my opinion, is just like today, you know, there was accidents when we were deployed and all that stuff and they suck. Um, I look at accidents as, well, I guess it was that, that person's time to go because it could have happened here. Um, accidents happen all the time here and the same kind of things happen can happen in a combat zone. Um, get run over by a vehicle, you know, just something, you know, a car, car crash, 
helicopter crash, all that kind of stuff. Um, anything can happen. So that's the way I look at that. It's very, very kind of weird to know, you know, to think about it. Like you think that everybody in a war that is killed and loses their life is killed by the enemy. You know, it's just combat, this glory stuff. Like, yep, here we go. That's, that's the only thing. But yeah, a, a big chunk die of accidents. So, all right. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're learning stuff. Um, again, this is, this is what the numbers read and they all add up to 58,220 which is a lot of people. <laughs> but anyway, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed uh, learning about this specific topic, even though it's, it is morbid. It's also part of history. It is what it is. And um, hopefully I can shed some light on it in a correct way, a more easy to understand way. If you got any questions or anything, um, let me know in the comments. For the millionth time, this is Bug Juice, Insect Repellent, and I will not be making gear videos until this summer. It's really cold. All my stuff is buried in the garage and I can't get, or I don't want to get to it. Um, but in the summer, I'll be making a lot of gear videos, weapon videos, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you for making it this far in the video. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. If you're new to the channel or even if you're not and you just haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if the notification bell is still there and it does anything, hit that too. Uh, make sure you're, you, know, you check. I've been trying to post content uh, more frequently these days and I'll be doing a lot this year. I'll be moving out to a uh, place in the country. So I'll be able to be closer to the gun range. <coughs> hint, hint. And uh, yeah, so we'll be doing that. But for now, I'm just gonna kinda do as many uh, videos on the Vietnam War and some other gear that I've got laying around, helmets and stuff, as I possibly can, because I think that, um, and there's a lot of misinformation floating around and I kinda wanna use the facts to educate people in a way that isn't, you know, biased like somebody said in the early 1990s it became but anyway I'll, I'll stop rambling thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you on the next video